Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my rules. My current rules, rules that I've had in the past that just didn't work out, didn't fit the vibe, um, how we kind of came up with them, rule examples for you and your significant other, your dom, your doms, your partners, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail on punishments too but that's not the main focus of this video because I know not everybody has a dynamic like mine but I wanted to kind of give a little bit of insight I don't know basically everything in this video that I talk about that I do with my own dom has been discussed multiple times um we slowly figured this out over the course of what's soon to be six months or so um and the reason why our dynamic works so well is because of communication. You can't have a good relationship or a good dynamic without communication. So please make sure that you're communicating your thoughts and concerns properly. Otherwise, I can't help you with anything. Okay? Okay. So I guess we'll start with my current rules that are set in stone right now. The first one would be I am not allowed on furniture without permission. This goes for the couch, this goes for our bed. Um, we usually just hang out in the living room and upstairs. Dining room table is fine because I need a place that I can actually like work. Basically that mainly goes for like our bed and our couch. My second big rule is that I ask for permission to go to the restroom. Now obviously if it's an emergency, like I can still do my thing and if we're like if we're out um well if we're out and we're not around family members then I will still ask but if we're at like my family's house or his family's house um no the next one is wearing my collar when we leave the house so I mostly will wear this collar because this is the collar that we kind of picked out together and it has my tag on it but if I can't wear my collar for like some reason I have this um I don't know if you can see it, but my collar's been rubbing against my skin for some reason recently. Um, so we're trying to figure that out. But basically, if I can't wear it regularly for whatever reason, I just wear it a lot looser. Or I wear, like, a little, like, necklace day collar type thing. Obviously, this this is different if you guys are married or something. Or the sub has, like, an eternity collar. Um you can't take that off and the last one that's not really one that like crosses my mind on a day-to-day -day, on a day-to-day -day basis because we don't really like have fancy dinners or whatever and like i like sitting next to him anyways um i don't sit at the head of the table that was just like a small one that kind of was cute um and i've never had a problem with that i don't really care um he usually sits at one end of the table and i'll sit like right next to him so like <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me anyways, but yeah. There's also some that I've tried out that haven't really vibed with me. One of those being drinking out of bowls. Uh, no matter what, just like, you know, if when, when we're home, drink out of bowls. Um, that was not really a vibe for me. A lot of people like pet play to be degrading and like dehumanizing, which I like to an extent. I don't know how to explain this. It just made me feel really weird and not in a good way um i still like using them for short periods of time or like if we ever use them in a scene or something that's fine um but having like completely no access to like glasses or anything i don't like that that's that's not for me the other one that kind of isn't a hard set in stone one that we tried was i usually will sleep in see my my dom gets up at like seven seven or so you know really early um i will get up at like 10 to take my medication and then i would usually come downstairs do a couple things maybe eat some cereal and then i would want to go back upstairs and lay down and he was like bro if you want to lay down you can lay down in your crate and i was like eh, i'll try it um Right now, it's just not a really feasible option because of the size of said crate. Um, my actual, like, dog, my furry dog, has a bigger crate than I do. 
and it's about the size of what I would need if I was like gonna actually fucking lay down and nap in there um otherwise that would work but yeah just right now with the space that we have and like the setup that we have right now it's not really practical all right I hope I covered those enough and like kind of explained them a little bit I don't have like a really long list of rules because we didn't think that was necessary um I don't I've never broken any of the rules that I just told you you don't need to have a partner or a dom to have rules there are tons of different rules you can have for yourself there are tons of different rules that you can come up with rules about self-care taking care of your space making sure you eat enough meals every day drink enough water remembering to take your medications and stuff just basically things that will make you become a better version of yourself that is what i like to think of rules as um, now there are obviously fun ones that you can have that aren't necessarily going to be for bettering yourself. Like, I don't, like, sitting on the floor does not make me a better human. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, you're a pet, you sit on the floor. You can obviously come up with ones that are specific to your dynamic and like your subtype and with different subtypes there's obviously going to be a different level of like intensity with the rules because a pet or a little versus like a 24-7 total power exchange slave is gonna be a little different, you know? So, like I said before, I don't need a lot of reason to not break rules because I am not a brat anymore for some reason. I just want to be good. But a lot of people's dynamics are very different. Some people are brats, some people are just naturally playful and stuff. So, punishments can help make them want to follow the rules punishments can help deter them from breaking rules um different things work for different people so i am just afraid of disappointing my dom and i am also not into excessive pain so and obviously there are different types of punishments for different people and different bodies and different like abilities for example some people can't hold positions for a super long time or they can't like kneel on like rice or some shit basically whatever they like do the opposite i like just hanging out and watching tv playing games on my phone playing animal crossing you know maybe if i was really bad i would get my switch taken away um it doesn't necessarily have to be physical it doesn't necessarily have to be even like sexual at all it can just be something that they like, they don't have access to for a certain amount of time. But also, make sure the punishment fits the crime. Another thing I wanted to touch on is that although I do kind of have a 24-7 dynamic now, we are human. We are humans. Um, if I'm upset and I sit on the couch, I'm not gonna get my ass beat, you know? I'm not gonna get in trouble for it. And our actual relationship outside of kink comes before rules and like stuff like that if you're not doing good mentally it's gonna affect like how much you want to participate in bdsm i guess it's really just about communicating with your partner and figuring out what you guys both want out of your dynamic there are tons of resources online that can help you come up with rule ideas or just think of things that you want to improve within yourself like if you want to get out of bed at an earlier time you want to get in bed at an earlier time if you want to eat less junk food if you want to take time for a hobby if you want to read every day if you want to write every day i hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful obviously if you're creating rules you need to do this yourself in your own dynamic and figure things out with your sub with your dom whatever this isn't something that you can just copy and paste off of the internet different dynamics are different what the f girl different people require different things different dynamics require different things you get what i'm saying um not everybody is the same and what works for me might not work for you and vice versa so again before i end this video i want to stress that i do not want to be your one source of education on this topic I have had BDSM aspects in relationships before, but this is my first intense dynamic, I guess. I just was asked to share my rules, so I decided I would. Um, please do your research 
and please communicate with your partner slash partners. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!